Savior who took on the sins of this world and opened a door to another world. You rock, best man. May I respond? Please do. Very well. Let's ask God a few simple questions. Where was he during the Spanish Inquisition? 9-11, the Holocaust, disease, massive starvation, earthquakes. And where has he been for the thousands of years of human suffering? If there is a God, has there been a more unjust, lazy, vindictive, capricious bastard in all of human history? Ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Day, what do you see as the evidence for the existence of God? I see evidence for God everywhere I look in law, in nature, in culture. In fact, we're standing in an auditorium full of evidence. Is there any evidence here tonight? Yes. I see a face I know. Yes, my husband. Yeah, come on, son. Carl? Come on, stand up. Is it Carl Vandermeer? Yes. There you go. And not so long ago, Carl was a lost soul. He was a follower of a rock group called the the Grateful Dead, a dead head. Is that it? A dead head, which meant a life of alcohol, promiscuous sex, drugs, lots and lots and lots of drugs. That lifestyle brought you a lot of happiness, didn't it, Carl? No. True happiness doesn't come from destroying our beautiful brains. It comes from submitting to God's perfect plan for us. And God's perfect plan for Carl was for him to meet a beautiful girl named Gwen and her daughter Angie. They brought him to Christ. Hallelujah. Now he's got a wonderful family, a job in the publishing department of my church. But above all else, love. He is a transformed man. Did he do all this by himself? No! The fingerprints of God are all over this man. That's not nonsense. That's evidence. I wouldn't call it evidence. I'd call it uh, trading one drug for another. No, come on. And I prefer the drugs taken by deadheads. At least you know. You're hallucinating. Please, please, come on. When Adam and Eve was in the Garden of Eden, they must have shook that thing. Well, the leaves started falling, the snakes started crawling. He must have given her a diamond ring. Adam said to Eve, you just won't wait till I get out of this garden gate. When Adam and Eve was in the Garden of Eden, they must have shook